afternoon everybody welcome back today well this morning as you seen in the last video we were pulling out pivots and we were supposed to get a bunch of rain last night it didn't rain you ever get stuff in your eye and it just drives you nuts and it didn't rain so now we're going to go ahead and go cut that rye down because it's ready it's time this is our best chance we have about four good days that say like less than 10 percent chance of rain and then the other two are about 20 percent chance of rain and then after that the rest of the week looks ugly so we're gonna make sure this thing's ready to rock and roll we're gonna hook on to the moco it's saturday it's 2 20 and we're gonna go see what we can get done i don't expect to get it all done i don't the field's so rough we're not gonna be able to go 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 full speed and that's gonna really slow us down but i want to at least get the end rows knocked out around the field and then get the top section done if i can if everything's working right and then I'll finish up tomorrow. My original plan was to do this tomorrow, but since we missed the rain, it's just kind of cloudy. But uh, we're going to get knocked down and get it cut and start drying as fast as possible. So we're going to hook onto the MoCo here. We're going to set the crimpers, make sure that they're crimping tight. Go give it a shot. Case, you're not making this very easy for me here. Okay, oil's good, hydraulic oil's good. Feels good. Frost didn't kill it. Nope. Not yet. <laughs> well, these are coming up good. Yeah.
All right, guys. So we are done for the day. I probably got, I would say, about 10 acres. No, I won't even say 10 acres. I'd say probably five acres left. But it's starting to get dewy. It's dark out. The sun went down. And it's starting to cut a little tougher now. So I'm going to, I have to slow down quite a bit. And uh, it's just not really worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off for tonight. Got a lot done. But the MoCo, this is my first time with the MoCo this year. Well, ever. I used to have a, a Heston disc bind. And it worked great, but it didn't do the tall, tall grass near as good as what this does. So right now I'm running about seven and a half mile an hour. If I had a little bit more horsepower, I think I could run nine, but this will work for me. So I'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, welcome back this morning. We are on our last pass. It is, uh, it's 11.40 in the morning. I probably got started here about 20 minutes ago, half hour ago. I really didn't have a whole lot left last night, but it was getting pretty uh, dewy just from the weather, humidity. So I decided to shut it down because I had to slow down quite a bit to get it to cut good. I figured, well, you know what? I'm going to let it stop. I'm going to let the wind pick up today, kind of dry it out, and then I'll come out here and cut it. So all morning I've been working on pivots. Uh, I had one stuck again, and then just figuring out the GPS corners on the end guns on the other. So that consisted pretty much all morning, and then now I'm here just finishing up. I just gotta go down and back, and then all the rye is cut here. So the plan is here, is once we get this bailed, hopefully we can have it, today's Sunday, so hopefully we can bail it Thursday as dry hay the weather cooperates like it should. Then we are going to come in here, we'll move bales. My dad and uncle will probably be moving the bales out as I'm bailing. And then Friday or Thursday afternoon, whatever, probably Friday, we'll end up coming out here at the planter and we'll put short season corn in here. And really hoping for a rain. If we don't get a rain on here, the corn's not going to mount to anything. So it's kind of a gamble. We thought about going back in here with like another sedan or a tricale or a triticale or something like that. But it sounds like we're just going to put corn in here. Next week it's supposed to rain a lot. So if that's the case, then we'll be good on corn here. It's kind of a whole new gamble to us. We've never done this. We've bailed cover crop. But I could use it for my cows and we're gonna sell the rest. So we're hoping to double crop it and make some good money off of it, or better money off of it. So if you enjoy haying videos, there's gonna be a lot of them this year. I think they're gonna be uh, pretty busy. Unless we get a lot of droughts. Then we're not going to be very busy. But if you're interested in following along on this cereal rye, this is winter cereal rye. And uh, if you're interested in seeing how the bailing goes and everything, and you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and follow along because we'll be raking this hopefully in a couple days and then bailing it. Well, I thought I'd jump out here and kind of show you. This is the stuff I cut yesterday. And uh, so it just kind of lays it down. Hopefully the wind can get underneath of it again, flip it out. But I had my crimpers pretty tight. So each stick's getting crimped about three to four times, which I would say is pretty good. A crimp is where it, it runs it through a conditioner 
and it crimps it like that. And basically what that does is just helps dry it down, which I don't have any experience with belly and rye, but from what I'm told is it takes a lot to dry this down. But I guess we'll see that it's had a really, really dry growing period. So I don't know how much hay we're really gonna get off of here. I feel like if it was on irrigated ground or better ground soil, this isn't the best over here. We probably would have had a better crop, but I still think there's quite a bit out here. So I'm not really sure how much. I don't know if, I don't know. These are your conditioners right here. So these cut and throw the hay through here, which this spins and then crimps it and throws it out the back. And this is what helps dry it down. These are rubber on rubber and uh, John Deere makes a new, a newer style that's steel on steel and it, it's designed a lot better and it's supposed to be a lot better crimping. But that's what we got. There's nine of these on here. That side's got new knives and this side we reversed. But I think I'll end up replacing them anyways. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you have any questions, comment down below, let me know. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.